is Dan Greisenau talking to you again from my YouTube channel. And today I want to discuss with you the in our entrepreneurship series, building an online content creation business. This is going to be like an introduction overview to this topic. I do have more videos planned for it. Uh, but this at least gives you some ideas to what you're going to need to do and and how you're going to need to work at it in order to make this a paying a sideline venture for you. So the initial premise here is that you want to create monetized YouTube videos. You want to promote them online and earn enough revenue from them to be able to make this a, a, eventually a full-time business. You've got an idea what you want to create. You don't know how to build it all or how to market it and how to make money from it. And that's what I'm going to try and assist you with uh, today to at least give you a start. I'll try working on uh, giving you some steps you need to complete to get into a final productive and operational routine that makes you money and uh, we'll discuss uh, primarily a simple business model in effect that I'm assuming that you're an unsophisticated individual just starting out as opposed to a more sophisticated entity that wants to build in a number of automated interfaces and between logical delivery components, automating things, building in uh, database interaction, etc. And that's a presentation I do have planned for the future, by the way. So it'll be a much more detailed and specific set of instructions on how do you actually turn this into a significant business venture over time. So what once operational, what's your business day going to look like? And what will your ultimate revenue sources be? Well, within the world of content creation, there's in effect two types of content that you're going to be putting on YouTube. The first is original content. This is content you specifically create yourself from inception to conclusion using only things that you are allowed to use and creating most of the content yourself. All of this should be monetizable and it will basically make you money over time. Now, a question when you're doing that is, does it lend itself to becoming a series of videos on a topic? If so, then before you really get going on it, build yourself a roadmap for the creation and follow your map because your users are going to be looking at this and waiting for the next installment in the series and they're going to have certain expectations as to what they're waiting for. So do try to follow some kind of a roadmap in what you're developing and if possible, let your users be aware of it so that everybody's working together and so that you keep their interest. Curated content is the second type of video that you can put onto YouTube. Now that comes in two different types. Some is monetizable, some is not. And you're going to find as you get instruction from YouTube and, and also by watching other videos from people who are uh, giving you hints and tips, that uh, you're going to find out there's a certain guidelines for monetization that YouTube requires and Google requires and there's things you can do and can't do. So watch those training videos because it's very important to get that right. Getting it wrong could lead you into trouble and maybe even lose you your YouTube account and you do not want to do that if you're starting to build a real business here. One of the best sources of information on the types of licensing for content if you're curating third-party videos or photos or anything like that is go to creativecommons.org and there you'll be able to find out what type of licensing is being done on what specific videos who's allowing you to share their content and actually earn revenue from it if you're interested in monetizing it and then on YouTube itself you're going to be able to find out things about music etc that you'll find out what's shareable, what is not, what music can be monetized, what cannot. So there's a lot of information there to assist. You need to obtain and become proficient with web creation tools and software. So within the scope of that, you're going to be looking to get audio and video editing and creation tools. Uh, well, you're definitely going to need a camera, video, and possibly some lighting equipment, depending on the type of video you wish to create some screen capture software if you're trying to do things on your screen and you want to catch the movements of your mouse or the movements uh, as you're going through a video that's on there or a game that's on there or whatever you might be interested in sharing with others some screen capture software is a very good idea Movavi by the way has got some good stuff so check that out 
video conversion software capabilities. These days you're wanting to try to create MP4 uh, when you're pushing stuff up to YouTube. It's high definition, so you're going to get good clarity. And secondly, you're going to be able to play that on phone devices, you know, things like the Galaxies and the Samsungs and the iPads, the iPods, all the different tablets. So MP4 is a very good medium to be striving to create when you're trying to build YouTube videos. Presentation software for slide creation, such as Microsoft PowerPoint, Excel, etc. Good video editing tools and creation tools lend themselves to the integration and insertion of slides and presentations that are built in those tools and uh, they can make for some very nice presentations built within your video and then you're going to need photo modification enhancement software such as adobe photoshop which is a product i use and have been using for years lastly if you're looking at website development there's a lot of website development tools the simplest of course is products like wordpress but if you're wanting to create a more sophisticated website, if you're in a Unix, Linux world, you're probably looking at something like Dreamweaver. And if you're in a um, Microsoft world, you're probably looking at Microsoft Expression 4 or other tools along that nature. And then you're also going to be needing to have some FTP upload software if you're building a website as well, because you're going to be having to work on the web pages on your own computer and then you need to push them onto the platform and so you're going to need some good FTP which is file transfer protocol uh, upload software getting started well you need to purchase and become proficient with your content creation tools you've got to build an initial inventory of videos that you wish to publish now by the way before you can actually monetize on YouTube they're going to be looking for you to create between seven and ten monetizable videos before they'll allow you to build a partnership or agree to a partnership with them and become monetized. As you're doing this, be thinking about creating your desired brand. So channel name, logo, thumbnails, branded video, intro segments. If you're not that creative, check out Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. For very cheap money, they'll help you create some pretty fancy intros to your videos. Build your profile on key social media sites. And what this means is that you flesh out the information about yourself, what you're trying to do, what your background is, why people should be looking at your stuff. Uh, at a minimum, I recommend you going to Facebook where you'll want to build a business page there because you're really not allowed to push money-making ventures onto your standard pages. So be looking to build a business page on Facebook. Google Plus, link it to your YouTube account so that as you promote videos to YouTube it shows up on your Google Plus where you can then push it out to the communities that you're involved in in Google Plus and, and share it with people. A good idea for your email address with your YouTube account is to use a Gmail account because this comes fully integrated with Google Plus, YouTube and uh, other areas, Google Hangouts. So it's it's very good to start off with a Gmail address. It's much, e much easier to integrate. It comes pre-packaged across the board with in effect single sign-on to all the different products that you want to use that Google provides. So it makes life very easy. You're going to be interested in setting up something on Pinterest, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. Uh, I, I recommend that before you get too far pushing out lots of videos, at least get 500 followers or more in each of these above social media channels because uh, no sense putting a video up there that nobody's going to watch. So get the followers out there and then promote your videos to those followers if you're particularly interested in monetizing what you're doing. I'm now looking at an operational system flow diagram which basically gives you an overview of the different parts of your new business world. First off, as I mentioned, we'll, go, we'll just go clockwise around on this uh, chart. At the top, you want to build your social relationships and promote content. So here's where your Facebook and Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. come into play. Through those entities, you're wanting to push or link them to your website, which your website should be displaying videos, potentially articles and books, offers, contact forms, bios for sale items. So those are the kinds of things you'll want to be putting on your uh, website. And by the way, I recommend as you build your website that you create 
an AdSense friendly website. And what I mean by that is one that allows Google to place ads on your website so that as people click on those ads, you earn revenue. So keep that in mind that the, the design of your website should be AdSense friendly. Also attached to your website and to YouTube, uh, and notice your website is also attached to your to your YouTube, you're going to be ultimately publishing YouTube videos up to your website. And as they play the videos on your website, they're linked directly back into your YouTube account and you're getting credit for those plays on YouTube and also giving your viewers a, a chance to subscribe to your channel. And, and you also have the opportunity to earn AdSense revenue both off the website and off the YouTube channel as well. External site promotion. Write and distribute some articles. There are a number of article distribution websites that you can be, become a member of as an author. And each of these will be publishing your articles throughout the internet. And uh, these are other good uh, source points as well to get people back to watching your videos or viewing your website. So do keep that in mind. Now, one of the key things that I like about uh, this whole uh, article creation is that ultimately it can lend itself to you creating eBooks, like books you can sell through Kindle and Amazon. And those can also lend themselves to becoming real books that ultimately you could publish and earn some revenue from by putting them in places like Chapters Indico. Uh, so very worthwhile to start down the article path as well, both to promote your YouTube videos and your website and also to earn additional revenue in their own right. YouTube itself, you're going to be, as you get monetized and start making some money, uh, it integrates directly to your bank account. That's how YouTube and Google like to pay you. So you will receive your AdSense revenue right into your bank account. And also from your bank account, you can pay for your AdWords advertising. So that's to keep in mind as uh, your business really does start to pick up uh, and take off. Content creation, I discussed that on the last slide. That's tied into YouTube. Here's where you're going to be publishing your videos from. So you're going to have your on your laptop your uh, content creation environment. And uh, as you get a little bit more sophisticated, you may want to be uh, interfacing to a message management platform. So in effect, as people are uh, on your website, you can create forms to capture their name, email address, those forms would be directly integrated with your message management system so that say they request some information or they just sign up to be a member or sign up to follow your your website and the content you create they can automatically get emailed messages coming back notices of a new video coming out advertising other information anything you want to create you can set up marketing programs and interactive programs for your subscribers that keep them engaged with you. So that also helps you with retention of customers and growing your customer base. So what does an average day look like for you? Well, start off the morning, subscribe to and read some daily news articles. They're useful for learning more yourself so that you can improve your business. And secondly, it's uh, also a source of information that you can share with others. Social media is about contributing and helping each other. So one of the best ways to do that is if you find something that you found interesting to read or that you learn from, share it with other people, share it with people on Pinterest, uh, share it on Twitter, share it on Google+, share it on Facebook. All of that is something that uh, are things that you can do that tie people closer to you. The more you help them, the more they're likely to help you with your business as well. Look for content that others have created and like it and, and or plus one it. Follow those who create the content you're liking and comment on their work where you wish to and share what you like with others. I mean, after all, we're all doing similar things and they're putting in an effort to create quality content as well. So they deserve to have their effort recognized as well. So think about what content creation project you wish to work on that day after you've done some of the steps above and spend some time working on it to ultimately produce a new video or to produce a new article. When a new content item is ready to produce, upload it to YouTube or to the article distribution platform of your choice or platforms of your choice. 
on YouTube, annotate it, share it across your social media platforms. Again, these are where all your followers are. And promote it without being pushy about it. Just let people know it's there. And if they choose to go look at it, wonderful. And thank them later if, if the opportunity presents itself. Communicate with others. Answer questions posed by others. So interact uh, actively with people in your blog or however they communicate with you, whether it be email uh, or a blog. And towards the end of the day, see how you did. Check out your recent statistics on Google Analytics and or AdSense and or both and uh, see where you can make improvements because these statistics are quite, if you're setting them up properly, they're quite good at giving you additional information that will continue to allow you to improve what you're doing. So what are the sources of revenue for this type of business? Well, as you uh, proceed down the content creation path, the first revenue item that you're going to see is AdSense revenue from Google related to your monetized videos on YouTube, your blog, and your website. Other products and services you might sell from your website can contribute to the revenue stream in the early days. Your videos may lead you to write articles and books that you may be able to sell. I think one of the standard offers they have on Kindle for the initial eBooks, you're usually selling for about $2.99 uh, when you're promoting them on Kindle, and uh, that grows with time into real revenue from uh, Amazon over time. You may be able to obtain some sponsorship revenue. There might be people out there that like what you're doing enough that they're going to give you some money to help you continue to create they may have a, a few strings on it, of course, like you might have to create some things for them as well, but it's all part of the game. So you might be able to build a decent living just by having a few sponsors for what you're doing. Advertising revenue. Well, you've got the uh, Google AdSense revenue, of course, and then you also will uh, potentially run into companies that want to pay you to promote their products to your subscriber base or pay you to create and distribute actual videos for them. So there's a lot of revenue opportunities there dealing with third-party companies as they get to know you and as they see your subscriber bases grow. They're going to want to do some deals with you to push their own products. So again, you have to make your own choices as to where you are on that, uh, on that scenario because you, know, you might have some conflicts of interest there with what you're trying to do as opposed to actually pushing a product. So something to think about but there is revenue there so you also may be able to earn revenues testing and then reviewing products for these companies that you either affiliate with or from indep independent product testing and reviewing entities another another potential source of revenue in this new business and you may be able to build websites and sites and social media followers and then sell these developed businesses and websites to others and there actually are sites out there that uh, you can do this through so I've, I've perused them on occasion, and I have seen all kinds of pricing going on depending on what some people have created and how far down the actual operational path have gone and if they're making money. So you can build something, sell it, and then go on to build something again. It just depends what you're wanting to do. Closing comments. Starting a YouTube business, you're not going to make significant revenues from this during the first several months, and it could take a year or more to develop a sustainable income stream. All depends how hard you work at it, what you choose to create, how quickly it grows, and how well you promote it. So it's kind of entirely up to you as to how hard you work this and how quickly this turns into something that's making real money. Just a thought in that regard, though, whatever you choose to do, start doing it consistently. Because as you build subscribers, they're looking for a steady release of content from you that they can use. And if you're not providing content to them on a regular basis, they will unsubscribe and go elsewhere and you will you know, lose their following and lose their support. Your income from this business will grow over time. It has to. The longer you do it, the more you work at it, the more you will start earning. This is not something for you to make money tomorrow. This is something for you to make money uh, a year, two years, three years down the road, getting you to a point somewhere along the path that you can say, I'm making more from this than I am from my steady job. And now I can make the jump and do this full time. So it will grow and you will earn revenue and you will earn a significant amount of revenue if you do it long enough and professionally enough.
as you start building your content you should also start building your following base do it together it takes a long time to build followers and it takes a long time to build content so have the two come together and don't just focus on the one and then start doing followers otherwise you're going to be way too far downstream before you're actually developing revenue try to get your followers initially by working to publish other people's material you know the, the curating news news articles and getting it out there and say hey i just read this this is good information for you check it out and you can build a following base that way as well so you know start doing that even though you haven't got all your content built build relationships and collaborations with people as you go this is a social media a social contact type of world after all People will get to know you, you will get to know them, and I see it as a quid pro quo type of world. If you're helping them, then they're helping you, and both of you succeed. Very similar to the Kiriatsu strategy the Japanese employed uh, and have continued to employ for many years of, of organizations helping other organizations succeed, as opposed to trying to compete against them. Above all else, enjoy it this is creative this is fun it's it's meant for you to express yourself get yourself out there build yourself a legacy for uh, your family your friends your future let the let the world know who you are what you've got inside of you and you know then you can take pride in what you've created you've actually done the work you've earned your stripes and uh, you've built a business that will help you prepare for retirement succeed and thrive in retirement so it's definitely something I recommend. This is the end of this presentation. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you'll continue to watch future presentations that we put out. So be sure to subscribe where they're shown on the slides here and uh, click to view other videos if you do want to see some of the other work we have created. And I look forward to uh, publishing something else for you again in the near future. Bye for now.